So this video will uh, will present to you the distinctions between uh, shift in demand curve and the movement in the movement along the demand curve. And I already went through these two concepts in the uh, past videos, but I just want to make sure that you really get the idea the, of the differences between the two because knowing the differences can make or break your grade. So number one that I marked this first graph is an example of movement along the demand curve and number two is, an is the graph of a shift in the demand curve and these two graphs I got from my book from Parkin and Bade might be interesting to read it but here I'm going to give you the one on one so a movement along the demand curve is when price changes price changes when everything else stays the same everything else stays the same stays the same and these are the two points that I want you to remember so when the price changes but every other factor stays the same then there will be a movement along the demand curve for the good under inspection so for example when we're buying toothpaste, imagine that the toothpaste price increased. If it increased and there is a decrease in quantity demanded, so we go up in the demand curve here. But say that the price of toothpaste decreased on the other hand, then we would go move down the, the demand curve as such, and that will signify an increase in quantity demanded, which signifies decrease in price when everything else stays the same. Now, the shift in the demand curve is the complete opposite. It is when price stays the same, stays the same, stays the same, but one or more factor, one but one or more factors factors uh, changes or influences the buyer's plans changes the buyer's buyer's plans and in such and in such a situation the demand changes and the demand curve will shift so by factors i mean the factors that we looked at in the past video that is expected future income and credit income expected future prices uh or income preferences population expected future income prices expected future prices prices of related goods these are the six main factors that we went through and the six main factors that i want you to focus on if any one of these factors changes then the demand curve will shift and that's how the demand uh, change so a good example of this would be my uh, burger and hot dog example i guess so if let's say uh, the price of our complement uh, decreased and or let's use this example the price of the burger increased or the price of the complements that is fries decreased the substitute for a burger is hot dog so when the burger price increases then the demand demand for hot dog uh, the demand for hot dog in, uh, increases so so let's say the the burger price increased so the demand for our hot dog will increase so let's say this is our graph for our hot dog and this is when this blue line is when the price of the burger uh, before the price of the burger changed and once it changed and the price increased for the burger the, the increase in demand for hot dogs will change and D0 will go to D1 will shift to D1 but let's say the price of the burger uh, decreased instead then in such a case for our hot dog uh, for our hot dog graph the 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 quantity demand quantity demanded in uh in hot dog or the demand for hot dog actually not quantity demanded because quantity demanded is when price
prices change, right? So the quantity demanded for the hot dog will decrease in demand because of the fact that uh, because of the fact that the burger price decreased, which lead people to buy, uh, lead people to demand more burgers rather than hot dog, and that is the two concepts that I want really want you to understand in this video, and I hope you got a good grasp of it by now. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.